Good morning. It is Saturday. This is the weekly vlog, kind of behind the scenes of what's happening. So today is Saturday. I did get a Timu order yesterday. So I was trying to look for some little stand cards so that I could use them at certain tables and then I could use my Cricut to put them on and I have not seen if these actually fit. There is a film on these so you peel it first and then you put your you know number or whatever information you want on it and it came in a pack two four six eight ten a pack of ten with the ten little stands so I think I'll try and do that I also got this air duster and it is pretty powerful so instead of like the air canister that you would use like compressed air like the little canister you would use um, it's really good to clean out like your bobbin and just kind of give everything a quick dusting before you start your embroidering machine or your sewing machine because it can get really dusty um, um, even when you cover it, um, it's still a good idea. So I found that there's like this embroidery uh, t-shirt design like silk printing or screen printing um, on shirts uh, conference is called Impressions and I just recently found out about it and it's more in the States. I'm trying to see if there's anything in, in Canada but they had these speakers on and uh, they talked about um, different methods and tips you know to maintain your machines or different like if you're not getting the quality of stitch that you're looking for is it your thread is it your stabilizer is it your material is it a combination of all that so it was just it was interesting to to hear all that from people who fix machines and run machines and have been in this industry for decades so one of the tips on there was if you're using your machine especially if it's an industrial machine when you first come in use the air compressed air on your bobbin case like just blow out um, any of that fuzz so run your machine and then when you come back from lunch use the compressed air on the bobbin again and that will help prolong and make sure that there's no no snags and extra kind of that fuzz that comes from the material on or the thread uh, into your bobbin and that will help prolong it so I got this air duster and it also is a vacuum cleaner which has like an additional attachment because I was trying to rack my brain I was like this thing blows out air so how is it gonna suck air and it does have like an attachment that goes at the front so that's how it does that I haven't used the vacuum cleaner but I did use the compressed air on the machine and it seemed to work out all right so the other thing I got were these like alligator clips that you can use uh, for holding fabric material together or you know just an alternative to pens just depending on the material and uh, how much strength you need so they seem pretty sturdy so I'm happy with those I also did get an Amazon order and I messed up my Amazon order. Usually I was wanting to get this tearaway and it's a 12 by I think 50 or 25, I forget. So I did get the tearaway stabilizer. It's in white, it's 1.5 ounces, but it's 15 by 25. So that's a huge difference. And so I actually don't need something this large, but it was my mistake. So uh, it's definitely, you don't, I think I must've got the 100 for this one because, or maybe they do have a 50. That was my mistake. I definitely re-looked at the listing and was like, oh no. So I also did pick up some uh, black embroidery stabilizer. This one is cutaway, it's 2.5 ounces. So this one is 12 by 25 yards. So I must've gotten that one for the other white one. So the reason why I wanted the black cutaway stabilizer is because I was making a couple patches and I was using black or like this dark blue canvas uh, for the patches. I also bought some twill that was black, but I noticed because I was using the white cutaway stabilizer, it keeps these white little threads and they just don't look as clean. So I wanted to see if I can try to use the black stabilizer and just kind of clean up those edges because even though I'm cutting away the material before the final stitch around the patch border, the cutaway stabilizer still kind of, you, you can never get exactly close to the edge and so you're kind of left with these white little fibers. So some other items I got from 
Timu, Timu, however it's called. So I went, tried to go back to my previous video and I tried to order some of their same things, but they were already sold out. So I bought one of these white pouches. Um, I do like that they're zipper and that you can see through them. So it's a nice mesh. So I got one, two, three, four of them. I wanted to try these, oh no, I got more. I also got the half size of that. Much larger and then smaller size. So I got two of those smaller sizes. I also picked up these, they're called pencil cases. I was also thinking about like color coding these. I could probably also put some vinyl on the front so like fire trucks and keep all the fire trucks in there. So then it'll be easier to color coordinate. So I got two of the red, two of the green, two of the yellow, two of the blue, and then two of this blue with the blue mesh on it. And this just came in a pack, I believe. So I'll leave those links down below. I find that things sell out really fast and so it's hard because you're like, I don't know the quality. But then um, when you go back and you're like, I really like them, it's not there. So I think I have enough of these colors. If I could find them in just white without the blue or the color coordinating at the top, I think those would be great. These ones, I really wanna try to find those original ones that I had because these ones, when I blow through it, I can feel it so it is just mesh it doesn't have any like waterproofing on it considering like the previous ones did have waterproofing and so like if something spilled on it wasn't such a big deal um, it, that they could get a bit wet but these ones are definitely just mesh oh yeah so that air duster looks like this and then it has different attachments that you can put on it this one is like very concentrated amount and it has two settings for the air to be blowing out just depending on and it's just a single use button it is rechargeable so it does have the port at the back which makes it nice so then you don't have to keep buying compressed can air or you don't have to keep on buying batteries so we'll see on the longevity of that because that was I think definitely a higher price point but I wanted to invest in that because I do want to do as much as I can for the machine so last night I edited the vlog this morning I uploaded it so it's live now so I've been trying to really keep that consistent um, and try to be you know held accountable to that so today I have a couple errands to run and then I'm going out of town then I'll be back tomorrow I didn't finish cutting all the fabric that I wanted to uh, last week just because I ran out of time just trying to prioritize things I was also trying to figure out what fabric I should cut first in that priority and I stuck to the ones that I already had previously cut for those colors so that I can continue with those things that I've already done so to try to make up more more sets um, and then I do have some new colors because I was trying to think of different felt stories that I can make those colors with that I didn't have previously and I probably should really think about like look at the color wheel again and also see my felt stories of what stories I want to create so it is Sunday it's around 5 30 6 o'clock at night I just got back so uh, the room is a wreck so you know when you go away and then you come back and you're like whoa really need to clean this up it's kind of what I'm feeling like I do want to do the fire trucks while I clean up so I did cut some more red felt last week so I want to continue making those and having more of a collection I think I only have one two three, four, five, six of them. So I want to get a couple more made, hopefully tonight, and then uh, be able to clean them up and put them in a bag so that they are done. So I've already done a video for doing the fire truck so I can just go ahead and do it right away. So that's kind of nice. I did upload and edit the cupcake video so that'll be coming out in a couple weeks. All right, so I got four of them embroidered for the fire trucks embroidered so i've been cutting them out and doing a TikTok about it and trying to just kind of diversify the social media for the embroidery ended up finished cutting up the numbers that i did on the white fabric i do need to cut more white fabric because 
I am really, really low on this black thread. The company that I get my thread from is completely out of stock and I don't know when they'll restock it. They just restocked the white and they only had five available. So I bought, I think three of the white and then I bought two of the black in the thousand meter ones. It's definitely more uh, cost effective to get the 5,000 meter cones, but they have none. So that's why I want to cut more of the white felt so then I can do this front and the back with the colors that I have and then continue that so then I can, you know, once I get the shipment of black thread, feel a bit more secure and then be able to embroider more. So today is Tuesday. I just got off work and so I have about half an hour or 40 minutes until I have to go to a fitness class. So I thought I would do a couple of the stop signs because they take seven to 10 minutes. Kind of this size, which was the cupcake size that I was using um, for the four cupcakes on one. And so it'll just be a really easy go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So for the stop sign, I use tearaway stabilizer and I put the felt on the front and the back and then put it on the embroidery machine for it to go. It is Wednesday night and I worked all day and then had a meeting and came back and wanted to do a couple embroideries that I haven't done before. So I did the under construction one. I used a piece of, it's kind of orangey yellow, so I'm gonna have to find more like a yellow yellow. And the embroidered stitch came out pretty well. I used two pieces of felt, but I'm definitely gonna have to find more of a yellow yellow. I skipped doing the yellow embroidery on top of it. I could do that as well. And what that would do is just all these places that uh, don't have embroidery that are yellow in between the blocks would all be yellow. So it could just add texture to it, but I don't know if it's really necessary, especially if it's just going to be yellow. So the other one I did was these dogs. And I just cut out this one and just used two pieces of felt and just used the outline of the dog. I've been doing it in white just because I have another shipment of embroidery thread. I've also been trying to use more of the colored thread as well, though I find if I have colored felt, I, you wanna use black or white on the felt itself, unless it's like a, a matching color or a complementary color, which I find is a little bit harder on the color felt. But if I'm using a black or a white felt, then of course the coloring is going to be matching. But that being said, like things like the bulldozer or the fire truck do have accents of other color, but it's not like the main predominantly featured uh, color. So today's Friday, it's in the evening. Yesterday I did make one set of the dogs with the purple felt. So that's been, I have now the purple and the pink. So I think I'm gonna continue doing the dogs in different colors and I can mix and match the sets as well. So I only did one sheet yesterday, but it is better than nothing and still getting in that routine. So I got my thread order. So this is the 1000 meter cone of the embroidery thread. And then this is the five, thousand meter cone. So as you can tell, there's quite a big size difference for price point wise. I can buy two of these and it's just under the same amount as buying one of these. So it's definitely more economical to buy the 5,000 one. So I got three of these and two of these. So this is all that I have left for my 5,000 meter cone. So not that much, but I am using it quite sparingly in projects. So, but uh, now that I have three of these, I can go crazy with the white thread. <laughs> so my machine's acting up. I'm getting a lot of thread breaks and a lot of splitting with my thread. So I changed the needle and that still didn't help. So I cleaned out the bobbin area. So I'm hoping that that maybe was it. So I'm gonna try it out tomorrow cause it is almost bedtime. So thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.